What's up everyone, welcome to the show. It's Wednesday and for phase eight, we are doing handstands and L-sits. So we're gonna be doing, uh, yeah, some, some different stuff. Uh, if you haven't watched the tutorials yet, um, I've demonstrated a deficit L-sit, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit easier than doing an L-sit straight on the ground. And the idea, like I've got a step here because I don't, um, well, I, you know, I don't have what you guys have got at home. I don't know if you live in a house that's got steps or not, but if you don't have a step and you can't do an L-sit on the floor, you can use books. A ch you could use a chair if you wanted to. So, you know, a chair that's this high and you'll see what I'm doing. But the idea is that it's harder to lift your legs up <coughs> off the ground than it is to lift your legs up, you know, from a deficit. So that's all we're using. And of course, I'm using parallettes for the handstand because I'm still sporting a little bit of a wrist injury here. Uh, and beyond that, it's really, you know, a, it's a straight arm strength workout uh, and middle splits. So we're going to be doing the same middle splits. And this is also uh, a little bit of an opportunity to deload the bent arm strength muscles because tomorrow we're back in the 1-5 for the handstand push-up uh, and the single arm <laughs> towel row. And that stuff is bloody hard. So here we go. Bloody Four. hard. Bloody hard. Four the warm up. Good morning, everybody. If this is your first time joining us, allow me to introduce us. Uh, in front of the camera, we got Rad Bormeister. Uh, behind the mixer, we got Richie the Rig. Across the gym floor from me, we got Will Purcell. And of course, I am Yanni Bormeister. We are Unity Gym and the Unify Movement System. Every single workout, the only efficient program balancing strength, flexibility, and fitness in every single workout. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, Will. Of course, uh, it can't be done, mate. Don't quick, wanna. quick reminder, we have uh, links in the description to pick up the whole program. This is phase eight. Phase eight dropped this week. You have one week only to get it at the launch half price discount, then it will be only available for full price or to our UMS online coaching subscribers. Of course, there is a link in the description for you guys to get your lifetime discount, 50% off the price, the price is slashed, the price is destroyed, 50% off the price and the first 30 days free. So it is a trial, it is a no brainer. If you're about to pick up the at home workouts, of course we'd love you to donate money to our um, our cause but you can get it for free because it's included in the 30-day trial <laughs> yeah boom <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense but of course we do appreciate the gesture who have we got on the stream will mate who do we have that's a great question because i haven't looked no we've got patricia sturbys as the number one comment that i can see good morning patricia um Patricia Sturbys is based in Canada and she's going through the gym workouts for the first time but still likes to jump on the at home workouts to say good day because that's what this tribe is all about. Gunnar Nielsen, good morning mate. Dave, Dave Clark is saying hi all, loving phase eight. Uh, Felixion is in the house and I assume partner Caroline. Martin Kudels is here. Diane Norbury is saying looking forward to handstands. Good stuff. Roy Stern and Gemma Lofgren, good morning. Good mix of uh, Unity Tribe members from the gym and from the online. Twenty watching, to our nineteen watching, sixteen likes. Remember, Tribe, at the end of this warm-up, you'll have the opportunity to hit that like button and hit the share button. Yeah, please share, please, 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 please so use that social share button. That's what I was just doing, sending it out to the uh, digital space. I try and share it on as many platforms as possible. Every single one of those shares pings the algorithm and helps share it in front, uh, uh, helps YouTube determine whether it's good content. It's a very, very big deal for us. We wanna get these workouts in front of as many people as possible. And of course, as you guys know, this is great content. YouTube just needs to know. Golden Cross 2020. You. It's happening. Oh, I just had a cold shudder down my back when you said 2020. <laughs> but that's great that we've got that golden cross. Finishing up the wrist routine, everyone. 
Good morning, Lucy Marsh Wakefield and partner Andy. Good morning, Simon Morgan. Thanks for jumping on. Elbows. <coughs> People have uh, taking their time jumping on today. A little bit of a smaller crew, but that is cool. Elbow circles. Okay, shoulders. It looks like we've got some pretty delicious weather coming at us in Sydney from today onwards. Lots of sun, getting a bit of heat in there. Just a reminder to all of you guys to get your washing done. Get it out in the line on the clothes horse. I'm gonna have to start applying sunscreen, wearing long sleeve shirts, pop my collar, wearing the hats with the flap at the back. I really shouldn't be living in Australia. That's just not what my skin is made for. It'd be great to uh, know how you guys are feeling from Monday and Tuesday's session. Now we've kind of technically hit the whole body. Um, how are you guys feeling with the 1-5 method? How are you feeling with that one rep max? I'm following the same sort of programming, at least the same cycle as you guys. I'm not doing 1-5, I'm just doing 5-5, five five, but I'm back into the strength. And the workouts have felt really easy. I'm not getting that much of a pump up. I'm not absolutely depleting my muscles. Quite but that's the difference. It can be a big difference between hypertrophy and strength. So be interested to see how you guys go. And this, guys, for the 1-5 method that we're using here, obviously that's a, an intensification overload method, meaning it's uh, designed to uh, develop maximal strength as opposed to max fitness or max muscle size, hypertrophy. Uh, using the 1-5 method, we are trying to explore and discover the hardest possible progression for each movement that you can do one good form rep with. I cannot stress to you how important it is that you watch the tutorials for this uh, program phase so that you know how to progress and regress the primary movements using that 1-5 method. We do not want you using a, a, an exercise that's beyond your capability and load capacity, uh, which results in an overtraining injury. And we certainly want you to get the most out of the workout, so we want you to select the right <coughs> movement progression. All right. Here we go. Getting into the workout, starting with the handstands. Um, quality is the only thing that matters, so I hope you've watched the tutorials and understand what progression or regression you should be doing. Because the only thing that matters is the quality. It's not how impressive or how hard the progression that you're doing is. Biddy Brown has just written in. Oh, there goes the mic. <laughs> oh, I've got a few little technical issues. Vinnie Brown has written in saying, Morning, Bob. This will be a nice dial back after leg day. Yeah, 100%. He's also saying, Really feeling fatigue with this phase. Might need to reduce the cardio on Tuesdays and Fridays to leave something in the tank for Taekwondo on Monday and Wednesday nights. Those are hardcore cardio sessions. You yeah. do some ankle ankle mobbing, Vinny, yesterday yeah. after our talk. Yeah, who's seen the uh, the ankle mobility video that's gone up? I know a few of you guys mentioned you were keen to watch it. Um, I had a little crack at it myself. Bit odd, but you've got to keep on with it, mate. The whole series, the whole series this week is awesome. Mm. Really, really good. If only there was more time in the day. We've got a video that went live for how to, how to increase shoulder mobility for the squat. It's a very, very limiting factor that's often not addressed. Uh, doing the barbell back squat, you need to have decent shoulder mobility because one of the techniques that keeps the form, that optimizes your form and uh, levels up your strength is to squeeze the barbell as hard as you can around your shoulders. If you don't have the flexibility in the shoulders, you'll find it very difficult to execute. Uh, then we released, of course, the ankle mobility, how to increase ankle mobility for a better squat. 
which Will is uh, talking about. Uh, how to increase hamstring flexibility for a better squat. How to increase hip mobility for a better squat. And then the only deep squat warm up that you'll ever need is about to drop today. It's an epic series. Videos have all had uh, around 400, 500, 200, 362 views. Lots and lots of likes. One, <laughs> the ankle moving one has had one dislike. <coughs> oh man, sorry Todd. Lee Clark is in the house, good morning Lee. Saying good morning folks, we're running 10 minutes late today. That's Wednesdays for you, it is Wednesday, yeah. Benny Brown is saying, trying out the ankle mobility. Man, there is zero movement in those bones. Going to take some time. It's all right, it's a work in progress, brother. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. That's right. You and I are the same, Benny. Years of running as a kid. I, um, I've got very tight ankles. Sometimes a lot of the mobility through there just takes ages, but certainly worth doing. trippy looking at the screen with the camera at a different angle. Yeah. It's throwing me off. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to look because my OCD is really upset about the mess in the corner that you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm, uh, the, the I'm, gym I'm is too immaculate. OCD for that. The gym's immaculate, but if you look behind the cameras, it's an absolute mess. For one, I'm sitting behind it, but a little bit in the corner there. We have 25 likes and 22 watching live. We've had a solid golden cross already this morning. Jeez, we've lost our, uh, our mojo though. We used to get like 100 people on these streams. Has everyone gone back to work or something? Must be. I'm liking the tunes this morning, Richie. Yeah, not bad, good nice tunes. And... Yeah. Brad doesn't have a microphone, so we're uh, we're going to need to cue people on when to start. So he's going into the uh, handstand again now, guys. Here we go. Whoop. All right, we're up against the wall. Try Stay really the pulling wall the belly there. button in. Core engaged, point the toes. Another big one here that I've uh, heard as well is to squeeze those heels together and reach up to the roof, reach up the wall with the feet. Squeezing the heels helps squeeze the glutes, which helps pull the belly button in, which helps you achieve that straight line. And of course, yeah, we want to be pushing away from the floor, making your body as long and slim as possible. You want a slim gym up there. Slim gym. Cossack squats with rotation now. Of course, if you had some time this morning or if you're looking to help improve that ankle range, that uh, ankle mobility video from yesterday, as well as the rest, will really help with this one as well. I just did it. I just had my last sip of coffee. Oh uh, yeah, I just did that about a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Worst part of the day. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> <laughs> my morning, my whole day has peaked at around 7.40. All right, Swap Rad's side changed side. sides, yep. Cossack squat on the other side, Cossack squat rotation. 
Got his foot pressed up against the wall. Keeping his knee nice and straight on that front leg and he's rotating towards the wall. Remember Tribe, if you can't get that rotation in and you're just sinking down and doing your best to not fall backwards, that's your best effort. You might find that by the end of these primaries you can start to get a bit of rotation and that's good. Marcus has said awesome. Thanks, brother. We agree. Nice one, Marcus. No, you are. Can't stress to you guys enough how much it, how important it is that you, you manage load based on your load capacity, your ability. What Rad does over there is based on what his ability is. And you can see how he's managing load on his wrist. He's had that wrist injury. So he's using the mini parallettes for the handstand. Most of you won't be doing that. That's an example of how he's managing load. He's still doing the workout, but he's working around an issue that his body's overcoming. We're up in the L sit now. This is a really challenging movement for Rad. His uh, body, the way his body is designed, he's got a very, very short torso in, uh, sorry, long torso uh, in comparison to the length of his legs. If you look at our bodies together, we're roughly the same height. I might be a little tiny bit taller than him, but my legs are much longer and my torso is much shorter. And my arms and limbs are slightly longer. So it's much easier for me to get up off the ground in an L sit. It's the beauty of calisthenics. It's you versus you. You're overcoming your physical nuances and limitations and learning to capitalize on your strengths. Certain movements unlock very quickly for some people and are very challenging for, for others. Brad's body's designed for squatting. He can do practically a perfect squat very easily. Give him an L sit or an abdominal crunch. Stupidly hard. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm built for. All of those things are hard for me. You look a bit like an all rounder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> half good at some things, half bad at others. Good at half assing everything. Yeah. Never whole assing one thing. No, that's why it's fun to crack down on some goals and achieve them. Just uh, doing a little bit of a stretch in the uh, hips and lower back. Rad is right now at the moment between sets. Third <laughs> Dyer is saying, morning guys, Will is built for line outs. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm quite tall enough. I'm just under six foot. I started on the wing as well. <laughs> what you have pineapples on your socks? Yes. <laughs> I do have pineapples on my socks. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I have very trendy socks. All right, Most Rad's up in the handstand like again. <laughs> Simon Morgan <laughs> saying whole assing life, mate. That's true. I do whole ass life. A bit too much ass in that. Rad's up in the handstand, he's making his body long and skinny. Lift, drawing his belly button in, squeezing his glutes, elevating the shoulders, pushing the floor away from the, uh, pushing the floor away from the shoulders. I almost said pushing the floor away from the floor. Yeah. <laughs> That's impossible. Dominate that floor. Yeah, Kurt, I'm definitely, I'm built for rugby. I do, do enjoy that. Been playing number 10 lately, which is fun. And number nine, I'm probably one of the biggest, I'm probably the biggest number nine in my division. That's good fun. But at my level, which is probably one of the worst levels in Sydney rugby competition, um, number nine just plays a loose forward. So that's good fun. Gonna have a crack at fullback this year. Remember those Cossack squats with rotations, Tribe? Uh, 
Here we go. Getting ready for the L-sit now. We've got 28 people on the live stream, 29 likes. Let's figure out how many people are doing the L-sit handstand workout right now. Smash a big yes in the comments or a why to let us know how many people are throwing down with rad at the moment. I know a lot of people use these Wednesday straight arm scapular strength as a rest day. Who's doing five from five? Gunnar Nielsen's doing this three times. We've got over. Anthony. Hey, Anthony Garth Garth on the, uh, G'day, mate. Stream doing the workout. Yes. Good to see you, Anthony. Jumping back in. Lucy Marsh Wakefield and her partner Andy are doing it. Kurt Dyer is saying emoji of Rad's face on the wall. Ah, he's done a little upside down emoji face. That's good. Dave Clark is also doing it. Nicole Collis, good morning. Felixion times two. Simon Morgan, Margo Sawyer, Martin Cadells. Just a well little crew. Enough. Just a little crew today. Those side, these side splits uh, with the little straddle up, we've certainly had in a few times, Tribe. How are yours going? I think I can use the 14 inch box to do mine. That's about as good as I can get. Who's getting closer and closer to the ground? Diane Norbury is in the house as well as Lee Clark. They're both training with us. We're up to 14. The tribe is growing. All right, guys. A little bit of a hip stretch, a little bit of a lower back stretch for Rad. He's just focusing on areas of his body that are tighter. Get ready for the L sit. Handstand, sorry, handstand, handstand. Get ready for the handstand. My mistake. last round of the primaries for this today and we're going to add more rounds on as the weeks progress. Just getting the most out of this one that you can tribe. Let's go, let's tighten that handstand up. Pushing away from the floor. Pulling that belly button in tight, glutes all the way up to the tippy toes. Reach up the wall, squeeze the heels together. Deep breaths. Achieving that straight line with the body. You. That is not easy. Sam and I and Lou Bayers are in the house. G'day gang. We're up to 16. Kurt Dyer saying, how do you reckon Volkanovski is going to go this weekend? Ah, oh, is he fighting? He's fighting Ortega, right? Um, I've never, I've always thought he was the underdog, as every good Aussie is, but um, I guess he'll go well if you can beat Max Holloway twice, even if it is close. I think he's going to do pretty well, because Holloway destroyed Ortega. Uh, Tribe, who's doing the uh, the level that Brad's at? We've got the Cossack squat and he's dropped the rotation. He's just reaching overhead. I can't even get that deep in the Cossack squat. You can see he grabs his ankle that he's squatting down onto and he's reaching for the wall. This is next level mobility, Tribe. That would honestly be a 12 month goal for me. That's fantastic.
Well done, Tribe. That's pretty epic. Alright, let's mentally prepare ourselves for our L sit. This is a core compression strength drill. It really helps us tuck the hips under, which is going to help us achieve that straight line when we're in our handstand, which is why we pair these guys together. If you've followed any of our handstand programs, uh, you will know that this is a common pairing of exercises. This is also uh, a shoulder depression exercise. We're doing the opposite movement in the shoulders than we do in the handstands. When we're inverted, upside down, we're pushing and elevating the shoulders, pushing the floor away. And when we're in the L-sit, we're depressing the shoulders to push the floor away. And that's why we pair it with the handstand, because it develops that balance in the shoulders. The old push-pull. The old, well, it's, it's, yeah, it is. It's kind of a push-pull, but it's actually a push-push, which confuses a lot of people. We, get, we often get asked, why do we pair the L-sit with the handstand? That is the reason. Because it's the only real way to balance the shoulders. One elevates the shoulders, one depresses the shoulders. Kurt Dyer, how do you reckon Volkanovski will go this weekend? <clears throat> Yeah, I, I gave him the thumbs up. Yeah, but I've never, I've never thought Volkanovski ever had a um, an advantage over Holloway. Yeah, and Holloway absolutely dominated Ortega. Yeah, um, so I'm going to back him. But it's, it's uh, a cracking yeah. card this week. Yeah, uh, Shevchenko was also fighting some poor, yeah. unsuspecting woman, and then of course <laughs> the blast from the past. Nick Diaz versus Robbie Lawler. That is going to be a banger. Is this, is this the re rematch with Rose Namanaganunumis and the Chinese? Chip? No, I don't is think so. Nice? I'm just looking at the at <coughs> something that was posted a day ago. Raz just grabbing out. his uh, dowel rod broomstick. Kurt Dyer's just said, wow, that Cossack squat. Rad could have a side hustle as a contortionist. <laughs> Mate, we've yes, had we've, our cousin, our step cousin, is a, was a contortionist. She is a contortionist, but now she teaches uh, circus performers. Uh, she brought one of her her students in who was performing at one of the one of the um, like Cirque du Soleil circuses here to to do a workout one day. Trust me, none of us are anywhere near the level of mm. flexibility of a contortionist. <laughs> Gosh. Vinnie Brown is also saying it's good to get another shot at getting comfortable with handstands for Mondays and Thursdays. All right, Tribe, we're on the floor now doing our shoulder <clears throat> conditioning. <clears throat> the dowel rod. <clears throat> Got an interesting comment here from GPMAGICP. I don't even know how to pronounce that. G P What's Magic the best P? way to get flexible like that? That is a very easy answer and it's going to sound really, really arrogant, but it's the right answer. Do our Unify movement system, brother. There's a free uh, trial and a 50% uh, discount link in the description. Uh, jump on there for 30 days and see what it's all about. What you got to do is balance strength and flexibility in your training like we're doing here. That's the secret. That's the key. But you got to know how to do it so that you don't compromise your strength or compromise your flexibility. I'm sure anyone in the comments will, who are doing the program can chime in and, and uh, tell you how powerful it is and uh, how good the results are that you get. But yeah, it sounds a little bit cocky. I wish I could. I wish I had a different answer. You could follow a lot of our videos on 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 the YouTube channel. We do a lot of mm. flexibility, great free content as well. Yeah, GP Magic P. Check out the rest of our YouTube channel and see what we've got. But if you're ready to take that leap, Gunnar Nielsen saying perfect, Yanni. It's a, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to prom, like self-promote, <laughs> but, but it's the it's the right answer. The Unify Movement System is the only workout 
that uh, effectively balances strength flexibility and true strength cannot be achieved in the absence of mobility and true flexibility cannot be achieved in the absence of strength. Bada bing, bada boom. We also train that end range strength quite a lot, which is what Rad's doing right now. Remember, try to pull that belly button in and squeeze the glutes. Just another tip, like with the handstand, squeeze the feet together and the heels. And that can help that whole kinetic chain all the way down to the feet. Get nice and tight. Diane already saying, my handstands are great, L sits are absolute shite. Don't worry, you'll get there. How much have you practiced the L sit? Mm. Same as me, probably not much. Nice, JP Magic is saying, uh, thank you so much. I will definitely look into that. <laughs> I just, I didn't notice that it was GP Magic P. I'm just doing it my best. It makes sense though. It I'm makes doing my sense. best for that one. Yes, we will, we will uh, take good care of you, my friend. Most of the tribe here on the live stream are doing the program, if not all of the guys in the all of the guys in the comments at least. They'll all give you uh, give you a little bit of feedback. The fatigue shoulder handstand. Free thirty days, can't go wrong with that, mate. Indeed, you cannot. <laughs> Shoulders are shaky, mate. A little bit of a kick up to handstand there. All right, here we go. Shoulder conditioning. I've forgotten the name of this exercise, Rad. Prone dowel rod W slide. So it's a progression of the W wall slide that we do. The idea is to keep your shoulder blades set down. Try not to allow the sh no horizontal level. Okay. <clears throat> so the idea is to keep your forearms horizontal, touch your traps with the with the dowel, and keep the hollow body. Keep your belly button lifted off the floor. If you're anything like me with this exercise tribe, I'm nowhere near mobile enough to get the dowel rod behind my head, so I do it without the dowel rod. I start with my elbows down by my sides, forearms flat against the ground, and I squeeze up through the shoulder blades, keeping them depressed, belly button in, and I reach as far over my head as I can but I don't lose that depression through the shoulder blade. Is that it? That's it, we're into the stretches, <laughs> tribe. Use this moment, use this opportunity, your body's nice and warm, use this opportunity to stretch. It is a great opportunity to level up your strength. to level up your flexibility, my God. Yeah. I'm all over the place this morning. It's one of those days. It's one of those days, I got a lot Lots going on. on at the moment in the gym. All the guys are doing some sort of filming. It's starting to catch up. Brown is saying, lol, if only there was a program that balances strength and flexibility. Hmm. Hmm, indeed, sir. 
If only I would sign up to that in a heartbeat. <laughs> you guys need to get more vocal out there in the comments section about how awesome the program is. Hell yeah. Yeah, far more skill-based in this workout today, Tribe. How do, you, how do you find it? We did have that comment earlier that Wednesdays is a nice little bit of a dial back um, from the upper body and lower body session the day before. That's the way it's designed. Slightly more skill-based, more mobility-based, but of course, the better you get at a skill like handstands, the harder those workouts get. So I know a lot of the Tribe members here who attend the gym while they first start their membership, they find Wednesdays a little bit easier and that's good, but it quite commonly becomes the biggest sweat session of the week. How do you guys find it? I find straight arm scapular strength challenging. So hard. It, al it always, always challenges me. Too much speed. <laughs> Good work, everybody. Great workout. Great little Wednesday workout to break up the week. everyone we're going to see you tomorrow for another bent arm strength workout and of course on friday we'll round out the week with the last lower body workout we've got some wicked content coming at you next week it's all about injury rehab and injury management next week we've got a different video for a different injury related uh, issue dropping every day and of course we've got our uh, podcast, Sound of Movement podcast going live this Friday about how to get a better squat. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks, Tribe. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you needed that kickstart to the day and it has set you on the right path. And we will see you all in here tomorrow, same time, same place. Peace. Health is about performance, not just body image. You better be willing to accept what you're going to have to do to get there. We'll start focusing on movement goals, strength goals, flexibility goals. When you nail that skill, it's there forever. The body image goal doesn't get you that far. It's the consistency and frequency that's going to get you there. It's not the intensity. There's no shortcut to mastery in movement. Destination doesn't change overnight, but your direction will. It's the gym is not the place to beat up the body that you hate. It's the place to build the body that you love. We are the gym that teaches people how to move instead of just exercise because we believe that health is about performance, not just body image.